So far, we've established that construction projects involve a significant amount of uncertainty that has the potential to impact project objectives. In this section, we'll look at why managing this uncertainty matters. We'll talk about the critical importance of project risk management. If we look at the data, at a higher level, we can be very confident that project risk management results in better project outcomes. In a 2011 study by the Australian National University, 701 project managers were surveyed across seven industries over a five-year period. Analysis was undertaken to determine the impact of both uncertainty on project outcomes and the impact of risk management on this process. It was found that while uncertainty negatively impacts project outcomes, even moderate levels of risk management reduce this impact. We can mitigate and manage this uncertainty to achieve better results. Risk management works for a variety of reasons and results in early identification of problems, fewer surprises, better decision-making, more accurate budgets and schedules, focusing team members on critical problems, managing stakeholder expectations, a proactive rather than reactive mentality, and compilation of lessons learned and better data for future projects. Let's explore each of these in a little bit more detail. The risk management process forces us to look ahead. By systematically identifying possible uncertain events or conditions that can impact project outcomes, we identify them when we are still able to fix them. Issues are identified before they become a problem. If we identify subcontractor resourcing as a risk prior to procurement, we can ensure that when selecting a subcontractor, we consider the required resources and ensure they have the resources to meet our schedule. By doing this, we are addressing the problem when we can still do something about it. Alternatively, if we do not identify this risk, it will come to project delivery and our subcontractor will not be able to meet our target program. By clearly identifying all risks early on in the project, we will have fewer surprises during delivery. We'll have already thought about the potential risks and when the uncertain events or conditions arise, we can simply return to our risk register and put in place our predetermined mitigation plan. This will result in a smoother delivery. We won't always be chasing our tails and fighting fires. It is inevitable on any big construction project that things will happen and take place that we do not expect. It is impossible to foresee every risk. There are unknown unknowns that we can't plan for. However, these will be the exception rather than the norm and all in all, our project will run more smoothly. Risk management results in better decision-making. Because we have already thought about and considered what can go wrong and the impacts, when uncertain events or circumstances eventuate, we can better choose what to do about it. If we have already considered what effect poor ground conditions will have on the project, when we encounter them, we can more quickly and accurately decide what to do about it. We already know what mitigations and contingency plans are available and the resultant impact of these on the project objectives. Alternatively, if we haven't already considered the risks, when they eventuate, we will be rushed into making a decision, potentially resulting in poorer project outcomes. By considering uncertainty during the schedule and cost estimate development, our contingency reserves will be more accurate. Rather than allowing 5% or 10% as contingency, we can put some real science and calculations behind these numbers. We'll have a quantitative estimate rather than simply assigning a contingency percentage. If we believe there is a 30% chance of encountering a $100,000 design defect, then we can allocate $30,000 as forecast contingency. With actual science and quantification behind these numbers, we will have more accurate schedules and budgets. By qualifying and prioritizing risks during the risk analysis phase, we can ensure the team is focused on the high likelihood and high consequence risks. Rather than focusing on minor issues, for example, small cuts and minor injuries, we can focus on the major issues, things that have the real impact on project objectives. Through the risk management process, we work out what these are and then can ensure the team is focused on the important things. Risk management also helps to manage stakeholder expectations. Stakeholders are kept informed and understand project risks. When risks eventuate, stakeholders are more likely to understand rather than blame the project team. If management understands that delayed earthworks productivity from excessive inclement weather is a risk we face and we make them aware of it, when it eventuates, we can clearly justify why the schedule has been delayed and costs have increased. They can clearly see we have made our best efforts to manage a key risk and that is outside of the project team's hands. This is different to management becoming aware of the problem when the earthworks is delayed and costs have blown out. Risk management results in us being proactive rather than reactive. We are dealing with problems before they arise and will be on the front foot. We are implementing risk responses when uncertain events manifest. This results in a positive mentality of the project team. 
If we haven't planned risk management properly, we will constantly be on the back foot and scrambling to solve problems. Stakeholders will be asking questions and have little faith in the project team. This reactive mindset will result in the perception by the project team that they are failing and result in a negative attitude. Finally, the risk management process allows us to better understand how uncertainty impact project objectives. When we close out the project, we'll better understand what happened and why. The historical data can then be fed into our next project to better improve performance. We can understand how technical risks resulted in scheduled delays. On our next project, we know the true causes and can fix these to ensure the same things don't happen time and time again. Proper risk management puts us on the front foot and increases the chances of achieving project success. We can avoid harming people or the environment and deliver the project scope in line with our budget and schedule. Next, we are going to move on to talking about the risk management process. 